What's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuffs Series. I want to take a look at two dynamic middleweights. Fought out of the United Kingdom, Len Harvey, who is to your left. He fought out of Cornwall, United Kingdom, same location as the three weight division world champion, Bob Fitzsimmons. And Jack Peterson, who's to your right, fought out of Wales, same location as Tommy Farr. Far was Joe Lewis's first title defense, went 15 rounds. And Tommy Far was a very, very good heavyweight. But Len Harvey was born July 11th, 1907. He died November 28th, 1920. He was 60 years of age at the time of his death. He was a six foot middleweight who had a 73 and a half inch reach, had a fighting career record of 142 fights, 122 wins, 14 losses, 57 knockouts, 10 draws, and he was only stopped twice. He had a 50% knockout ratio. Very hard puncher was Len Harvey. He was in a ring with Young King, Young Fern, and Young Edwards. Stanley Sniper defeated him twice. Harry Young, they called him Harry Young Jinx, fought him seven times, incredible. Johnny Coulter defeated him three times. Young Freddie Welch defeated him. Albert Young Dano defeated him twice. Lynn Johnson. Now he lost to Lynn Johnson. Let me tell you about Lynn Johnson. I did a story on Lynn Johnson. He was a black fighter from the United Kingdom. He was treated like a second class citizen. And they had a rule, number 20. If you had one drop of black blood in your system, you couldn't fight for a world championship. I couldn't make this up if I wanted to. That was the actual rule. And unfortunately for Len Johnson, he was treated, like I said, as a second-class citizen. He was never given an opportunity. He was robbed many fights. So he had to go over to Australia. He won a title in Australia. And he came back to the United Kingdom and said, I got to fix this problem. So he joined the board. And he got a lot of the, the problems resolved. And the fighters like Lennox Lewis, Anthony Joshua, and many others can thank Len Johnson when you study your history. He was a tremendous attribute over the United Kingdom. So Len Johnson would defeat Len Harvey. Len Harvey would also face Jack Hood, defeated him twice. Vince Dundee, who was a middleweight champion, lost to Vince Dundee twice. He fought Marcel Theo, and he defeated Marcel Theo, but then he would lose to him. It was for the NBA, International Boxing Union. He would also face Ben Jedby, lose to him. Those are two world-class champions. Rene Dubois, defeat him. Jack McAvoy, win and lose one. The Common Middleweight Championship title. Then he would face Jack Peterson, November 30th, 1930. Jack Peterson came in with a ring record at that time of 26-0. And it was 10,000 in the audience. And they would be for an upset of their life. Because Lynn Harvey would defeat Jack Peterson. Amazing. Jack Peterson was born September 2nd, 1911. He was a six-foot heavyweight, fought out of Wales. Died November 11th, 1990. He was 79 years of age at the time of his death. We would fight him again. June 4th, 1934. At this time, Jack Peterson had a fighting career record of 30 and 1. This time he had 70,000 in the crowd. And he would lose to Jack Peterson. Amazing. Jack Peterson had a fighting career record of 35 wins, 5 losses, and 21 astonishing knockouts. He would also face a fighter by the name of Walter Nuzel. He had blonde hair. He was very tall. But he was a decent fighter. We would also face a fighter by the name of Larry Gans. Defeated Larry Gans. Larry Gans, outstanding fighter. Len Harvey would also face John Henry Lewis. He would lose to him. Freddie Mills, he would lose to him. Freddie Mills would eventually become a light heavyweight champion. He would lose to Jack Peterson in one more match. And John McAvoy, he would defeat him. And that was the gist of Len Harvey's fighting career. He's very underrated. I rate him very high. He was a very hard puncher, was Len Harvey. 
Jack Peterson didn't have enough fights to be ranked in my all-time ranking list, but he was a very good fighter over there in the United Kingdom. And I'm going to salute both fighters for their contributions in the sport of fisticuffs. This is Scrap of Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. All great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. Salute to Jack Peterson. Salute to Lynn Harvey. Right here on the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Thanks for your time. Peace.